morning, Monday the 19th of June, 10 past 7, been to the gym, been to the sauna, gonna go get a coffee and head towards the yard, gonna try and video every day just what's going on, what's on when we get back, so things to sort for orders, compactor plate, Simex compactor we bought last week at Plant Works. They go work out some hitch brackets for that, some paperwork and stuff. Nothing too major. It's the plans at the moment. We'll see what transpires. I'll try and do more of these videos every day. We film some Kanjiri stuff yesterday as well, so that'll hopefully get finished. I might try working that today. Now we'll hopefully get finished, we'll get some of those videos put out. And that's it. I'm going to go get a coffee, head back to the yard. Now I may go to the office, see what's to be done there, and take the day as it comes for there. Alright, Tuesday morning, dogs here, Tuesday morning, just on the way up to the warehouse, done some bits and pieces this morning, a few customer phone calls, our logs but are going to go to Denver, that's really all that's going out today, and then see what's on the rest of the day, got work on the new website to get going with, so maybe get back into the office and do a bit of that, a couple of repairs as well, sorted out customers, 50,000 max, maybe put a picture in here, the oil lip seal was away in that, so we're getting that sorted out for the customer, good boy, and try to sort a plant to fix a trencher chain that's been damaged, I'll try and show you that here as well, and that's about it, we're heading up to the warehouse, easy, where is it, come on in, we're heading up to the warehouse, we'll go a scout around the yard as well, maybe the new Cymex stuff is in, and that's it. Just the one thing to go out this morning, that log splitting cone. It's actually not going to Denver, it's going for the attachment company US, but it is going to a customer in Boston that's going to go air freight from here. Well, we're going to send it, I think, to Heathrow, and it's going to air freight to Boston Airport. We'll get it packed up, booked in, and see where the day takes us today. So for those of you who haven't seen our shorter, shorter videos, this is one of our log splitting cones, there's obviously still a tip to be attached, but that's, that's the 300mm, that's the big version with the 65mm round fitment, or the ability, which will be happening in this case, to bolt a hub on for whatever you want, 2 inch hex, 75 square, whatever. So yeah, that's a cone, we're going to start getting it packed up, I'm going to put the tip on it, it's going in that box, and heading towards the US. How are you doing William? Good, thank you, how are you? No, thank you, I appreciate it again. No a customer that's been off and on about purchasing a compactor plate. In fact, I can maybe show you this compactor plate that was on display at Plantworks from a new manufacturer that we're just trying to do a bit of work with, Cymex. Customer have been off and on about compactor plates, had weighed up the option of, we had a couple of unbranded Chinese ones, I don't know if you can see them, they're in the back there. He had weighed up the options on different compactor plates and the likes, and decided to go for the Cymex that, the Cymex that was on display at Plantworks, so glad we committed to buying it, hopefully it turns up here in the next day, in fact it might be here today, but hopefully it turns up here in the next day or two, parts are on order to build the hitch brackets, it needs a couple of brackets, one, in fact both for a Hitachi 85, but different, different pin diameters and different pin centres, so profiles are on order for that, we'll get them built this week, and I'll show you around that when it's ready. So you can see how it goes from being relatively quiet with one or two things to do, it doesn't take you much until 
you've got a bunch of stuff on, just people to call back. I like to try and get back to customers as quick as possible, providing I've got the answers for them. Sometimes that's not always possible. Sometimes we're waiting on assistance from outside. But I like to try and get them back as quick as possible. That sometimes means you're in the middle, as we were doing there, in the middle of trying to pack that cone. Customers' phones, we have to postpone the packing a little bit and deal with the inquiry. So, as what it is, that's the joy when you're this size of operation. Just try to juggle, juggle bits and pieces around and keep everybody going as much as possible. For some reason, his favourite space is like there. Unless I go in the office, then he follows me in, but his favourite space appears to be for some reason right at the door. Let's get this cone in that box. We'll go in that way. Ooh, it might, it might, it might. Let's get this cone in this box and get it ready to go. See, I told you that was his favourite spot. Oh, cone's in the box. I'll put some bubble wrap in the bottom just to try and protect it. We'll pack the rest of it out. I was going to leave that box a full height. I might actually cut it down. There's no real need for it to be that size. Um, so yeah, that's ready to go. Well, it's not quite ready to go. It'll be ready to go shortly. That'll be ready to go shortly. Phone's ringing again. I will update you later on. Cheers. Just need to finish putting the label on that. That'll be ready to go. It's booked on a flight, I think Thursday, today's Tuesday, it'll get there tomorrow, I think it's booked on a flight Thursday. Uh, should be in Boston for, but should be with the customer for the back end of next week. Tuesday afternoon, nearly five o'clock, good few inquiries. Inquiry from a local dealer for a flail, flail it's a three ton, two and a half ton Hyundai. Another real good inquiry for an auger package and for an auger package and a breaker with a post driving cup. That's another good one. Um, so yeah, a couple of things out today. Just gonna head down, get the dog out for a bit, take a bit of a break, get something to drink, and go to the office, try and five o'clock, get stopped in the warehouse if I can. Take a run down, go to the office for a bit, try and catch up many outstanding emails, and then there's some work, go some website work to be doing, so I'll go and get a good start on that. That's the update, I'll try and get another one in for the end of the day. Cheers! 10 past 6, Wednesday morning. I've not even woke up yet. Right, gym done, sauna done, I feel a bit more awake. Let's go get a cup of coffee and get this day started properly. Just get done packing up a couple of orders that I forgot to film. Some small ones this morning, a hitch bracket and a 300ml auger. And that's really been it this morning. A um, couple of inquiries, done some emails. Going to head down to the house now, get something to eat. And then it's... Let's get an earlier finish, we've got a dinner on this evening which is early so we'll go to that and then probably back to the office in the evening, get a few hours done after that. Oh, also just remembered some discussions inspired by our visit to Plant Works around Scott Plant Show. We done Scott Plant Show 2016 was the first time, we then done it again in 2018. It should have been 20, but it was postponed due to COVID till 21. Is that right? No, 22 actually. Deciding not to do it in 22. So now big debates on whether we're doing it 24. It's looking like we probably will. We've had some buy-in from a couple of manufacturers so far. So hopefully we'll do it. I mean, it looked like we will do it, but we need to get it organized or at least booked in and a slot booked this week so might go do some work on that this afternoon but we'll see what happens
Thursday morning, we are back at the warehouse again. Nothing going out this morning, no orders going out this morning, but just a couple of things. We're going to come up here, film a couple of TikTok videos, posted some more this morning as well. Replied to some customer inquiries, chased up some leads, just some general admin work this morning. Also, in big developments, we provisionally put ourselves in for Scott Plan 2024. That was the big, the big meeting this morning regarding just uh, picking a picking a stand, picking a space, picking our location. It looks to be fairly well filled already, which I mean it is a good thing, but meant we were limited on on the actual locations. But we had some buy-in from some of our manufacturers, some commitments to helping with the overall investment, either in money terms or in product or attachments and general manpower and knowledge and expertise for during the show as well. So that's a good one. Good to get that confirmed. That's the big stuff this morning, as I said. Thursday morning, that's the big stuff this morning. Going to do some videos here, waiting on some technical details in order to get back and price some customers on some bits and pieces and we'll see where the day goes today. So I just answered somebody's question related to this on my phone there for a TikTok video and I thought while it's fresh in my mind I may as well record it for this, give you a bit of background into me and the business if you're watching this and you don't know who we are. Somebody asked me there on, left me a comment on TikTok of do I still do the plant hire? Oh, by the way, my name's William and I run this business, Moose Valley Equipment. What their question was referring to was to my parents' business, Moose Valley Plant, who, where I worked pretty much all my life since I was old enough to, but full time since I left uni in 2014. Small family business, I worked there sort of on my days off and in my free time. Then when I left uni, didn't quite know what my plans were for the future, went to work there full time and was pretty much there ever since. That was 2014 actually onwards that I worked there full time. So in between times set up this business, Moose Valley Equipment, that was also sort of 2014 onwards. Just as a sort of sideline, something I thought I could build up that was related and in the same industry, but without being directly a plant hire operation, but kept me in the industry. I knew that I'd been in sort of all my life and was something I thought I could bring my skills and knowledge of web development and websites, which is what I've done at uni into my own business. So you built that up over the years of working for my parents. That was until the start of this year, 2023, that I decided to leave working for my parents, albeit they are right next door. I can show you that at some point if you're interested. Their yard is right next door and currently I'm renting this warehouse from them. But decided to go full time on this business, Moose Valley Equipment, at the start of this year just because I felt this business needed and deserved more of my time and all my time and attention, the business, the product, the customers, needed and deserved my full attention and my full effort in order to support it as good as possible and just to keep trying building the business up from where it was at. At the time it was, I'll be honest with you, the biggest decision I've probably ever made in my business and personal life but looking back, it's one I would do all over again. In fact, I would probably actually do it sooner. It is just myself, my fiance Laura, and a part-time bookkeeper that work for Moose Valley Equipment at the moment. Something we'll look to expand on, but that's another big, big decision and big commitment. But as I say, it went full-time at the start of this year, hence why you've maybe seen more of our content, more of my videos, is because Frankly speaking, I've had time to do it. And yet, so far it's been a good decision. It's got its moments, but taking that full responsibility on myself to try and grow the business for the business's sake, but also for our sake. It's got its challenges, but as I said, 
with the benefit of hindsight and experience, the, the best decision that I think I could have went for. So that gives a bit of insight into this business without going too deep. If anybody has any questions, wants to know more either about this business, about my parents' business, about working for them, about family business, whatever, please ask away, ask in the comments. I will do my best to include it in future videos. If I can help, if I can give you my experience, my opinions, what knowledge I have of the situation, then, as I say, please leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer them for you. So hopefully that lets you know a bit more about me, a bit more about the business. I'm going to try doing these videos on a weekly basis, just showing you what we're doing. It's going to be a wee bit all over the place. As I said, it is only the two of us full time. So I'm going to try and fit them in when we can. Try and do it on a weekly basis. As I said, if there's anything you want to see me doing, me showing you, anything that's in here, please ask away and you would do us a massive favour if you liked this video and subscribed to the channel. Would be a huge favour to us. As I said, hopefully you enjoy the videos we're making. If not, leave me a comment as well, I guess. Friday morning. Been to the gym, been to the sauna, got a coffee, just up at the warehouse in order to pack this morning to get out and then we are waiting on some laser cut parts coming to build mounting hitch brackets for a couple of attachments. In here packing up this order that I'll show you in a minute, but just as an example of having to do multiple things all at the one time when you run a small business like this. I'm in the middle of packing that order and a customer that I had quoted for some attachments a few weeks ago has messaged saying that that sale hasn't come off but can I price for another one? Which is great. Obviously sales inquiries are the lifeblood of our business. Uh, I, I would not wish against them at all. But then it becomes... I'm out here packing the order. I want to give the best possible service and get them the price as quickly as possible, which is fine. Then you're dropping down one thing in the middle of it that's maybe 15, 20 minutes away from being completed. Completely change your mind onto something else. Get this quote out and then get back to finishing what I was doing. So just a quick example of what juggling, juggling jobs and juggling priorities looks like um, in a business this size. So this is one of our most popular, so some of our most popular auger torque products that we sell. Let me open this up and show you. An X2500 auger drive unit and a couple of S4 tungsten augers, a 150mm diameter and a 300mm diameter as well. Tungsten carbide teeth and tungsten pilots. As I say, one of our more popular or one of our most popular auger torque products, auger torque attachments that we stock and sell. That's what's got out this morning. I'm just going to go and finish packing it up. Barring any other interruptions or phone calls, I'm going to get that done. That'll be out today. It'll be with the customer Monday. Done. Packed, wrapped, tape, labelled, ready to go. Look at this. Scottish summer time is officially over. What date is it? Yep, Friday the 23rd of June and summer time is gone. The rain is back. No bad, thank you. Are you? Bad, bad. Okay. Sound. Thanks for the update, Gary. Appreciate it. Right. Bye -bye. Bye -bye, mate. Again, if ever you need a demonstration of juggling things in a small business, I'm in the forklift trying to take this pallet that I've been, this order, this pallet of an order that I've been packing for about the last two hours now. 
there should be a half an hour job but I've had to jump in between doing that and on an inquiry for a sales inquiry and on a breakdown service inquiry and then that's another that's a manufacturer on the phone discussing another sales inquiry for a tree shear and just discussing the options for mounting it on the customer's machine etc so yeah everything gets done but you have to be completely comfortable with changing your headspace and changing your focus between the task in hand and the task that needs done and stuff that's a wee bit further down the line people phone you you can't just decide not to answer it so if ever there was a better demonstration then that was it of just what it's like to to jump between jobs we've dropped that pallet off now <clears throat> all our pallets at the moment we leave in the top yard because there's more room for the courier to get in turn around about and picked up as I said that will go today be with the customer Monday I need to start doing videos in more places than in here because you have zero sense of time when, when I film everything in here um, it is Friday afternoon it's nearly five o'clock a day of not getting a whole lot done but stuff out with our control um, starting off with earlier was a an issue about a tree here that I'll do some more stuff on once we get it properly fixed. There's been a bit of back and forward with an issue with one of the tree shears. Once we get that resolved, I will do a proper video on it and explain what happened. Well, we're supposed to have profiles here, hitch profiles here, so we can make them up this evening to go out at the start of the week with some new Cymex attachments. They're not going to turn up either, although they were supposed to be dispatched yesterday on a next day service. They're not going to turn up to Monday. Um, the attachments that were going on, I thought they were meant to be here today. They're apparently not going to be here till the tail end of next week now. So, a day of little progress when it comes to that, unfortunately, but stuff out with my control again. And that's really it. A frustrating day, not a whole lot of progress made it feels like, but an order out this morning few more things quoted so we'll see what comes up for the end, for next week and the end of the month morning Saturday morning 24th of June just out doing some bits and pieces this morning had a customer in picked up some augers for his auger unit on a Protec post driver 100mm and a 150mm a 150 mil rock with the uprated hard rock pilot so got them out Filling a couple of videos with a couple of questions on TikTok regarding breaker pricing and flail pricing. Filling a couple of replies to them. Going to do a little bit of tidying up in here. And that will probably do us for the day. And hopefully for the week. Saturday afternoon, end of the week. A real mixed bag of a week. Some problems that are, some warranty problems that are still outstanding that I'll share with you hopefully next week when we have a full resolution. I don't know, truth be told, I don't know how this video is going to turn out till I get in and try and <laughs> edit it and make some sort of sense out of it. But hopefully it looks okay. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Who knows? can only get better for here. Um, if anybody's got any questions about what we do, about what I do, about my background, about the company, whatever, just... Leave us a comment down below. I'll be happy to try and answer them in next week's video. Hopefully we can keep this up as a sort of weekly rolling video of just what we're doing. And as I say, we can only, <laughs> we can only get better and a bit more quality from here on. And that's really it, I think. Don't have much else to share with you. You'd be doing us a massive favour if you could subscribe to the channel. We're going to try and take this much more serious. Sort of from this year for the back half of this year onwards. I'm happy to share whatever you want to know about the business, what we do, what we sell. As again, just ask away. Hopefully there's some exciting things or some stuff I can't quite share at the moment, but some, th some exciting things in the pipeline that hopefully in a few weeks' time I can elaborate a bit more on. 
I think that's it. Thanks again for watching. And see you next week. Cheers.